Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow for strength and flexibility. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat. And I want you to bring your hands to the floor beside you. So it might just be your fingertips that are lightly touching the ground. But with a nice big inhale, we're gonna reach our arms out wide, spread the fingers wide, stretch those palms all the way up above the head. Maybe lift the chin as you look up. And exhale, bring your arms back down. Keep spreading those fingers nice and wide, tapping the fingertips on the mat. And use an inhale, reach back up. Exhale, bring the arms down, spread those fingers wide, kind of wake up the arms here. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, push that air down towards the floor. Awesome, you guys, relax. Take a shoulder roll. Bring those shoulders up to your ears, roll them back and down. Do that again. And one more time. Awesome, you guys. We're gonna keep our hands on our knees this time. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, start to twist to towards the right side. Keep the spine long, take an inhale, sit a little taller, and exhale, hold your twist. And with an inhale, you can start to turn the chest slowly back to center, and exhale to the left. Take another breath in, lengthen. And exhale, hold. Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, bringing the chest back to face the front, and your fingertips are gonna find the floor beside you again. Three more breath, big reaches. So inhale, reach your arms out wide, look up if you can. And exhale, spread the fingertips, bring the hands, the arms all the way back down. Inhale, reach up, maybe look up. And exhale. Push that air down. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job, you guys. You can bring your hands back to your knees. Just kind of relax. Maybe sneak in a shoulder roll or two or three. <laughs> nice job, you guys. And then find a long spine again. Sit a little taller and let your chin start to tuck towards the collarbone. Close your eyes, slow down your breath, and really feel your breath. Keeping the spine long and the shoulders soft. And using an inhale, slowly roll your head over towards your right shoulder. Feel the length through the side of the neck. Stay for an inhale. And with the exhale, bring your chin back down. Inhale as you roll your head over towards the other side. Relaxing through the jaw and stay for an inhale. And exhale, bring the chin back down. Nice job, you guys. Use an inhale to lift the head back up. Maybe adding in a shoulder roll. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, roll them back and down. Awesome, you guys. You can open your eyes. If you did have them closed, we're going to find our way into our tabletop. Onto the hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide, bring the wrists right under the shoulders. Take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, maybe the chin. Exhale as you round the spine, squeeze your tummy in, push into those palms. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the chest, and exhale to round it out. How close can you bring your chin towards your collarbone? One more breath here. Inhale, arching through the back as you lift the chest. Exhale to round it out. 
and using an inhale, come back to a nice flat back. Let's tuck our toes under and lift up into downward facing dog. Keep your fingers spreading out wide. Maybe take your dog for a little bit of a walk if you want to pedal the feet a few times. Let your head be heavy though. Look towards your toes. Take a couple nice big breaths. Hmm. Let's continue to slow down and settle in. Hmm. Nice work, you guys. Using an inhale when you're ready. Look forwards between your hands. Exhale. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. Take an inhale. Lift halfway. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding forwards, bend your knees, come into a kind of a tiny ball. Inhale, lift the chest, half lift again, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold, bend the knees, bring your chest towards them. One more, half lift, inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine. And exhale as you fold forwards. Awesome, you guys, inhale. Let's come all the way up to standing, reach your arms up. Look up and exhale your hands through heart center and down to your sides. You can roll your shoulders back and down, but then we're going to step our left foot back. So spread your feet out wide, find your balance, keep both of your legs fairly straight and wake up your legs. You're going to take an inhale here to lengthen through the spine, hands to the hips. And as you exhale, we're just going to tip forwards a little bit, where we're going to start to lift back up as we inhale. So start to find that hamstring stretch for that front leg. Wake up the legs and use an inhale to come right back up. Exhale, tipping forwards. You can come as low as you want to go as you exhale. But the inhale is bringing you right back up. Nice, you guys. One more here. We're doing three of them. Exhale to bring you down. And an inhale to bring that upper body all the way up. Nice, you guys. Can we pivot our feet just to the left and actually heel toe and spread our feet out even wider? See if you can point your toes straight forwards or maybe even in a little bit. Hands to the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, start to tip forwards. Maybe you come just a little ways. Maybe you come a lot, a lot. <laughs> A long ways, but use an inhale to bring you up. Wake up those legs. Use that core to help lift the upper body. Exhale, tipping forwards. You might even lift your toes off of the mat. Inhale, brings you up. And exhale, brings you down. Last one. Feel that nice stretch, the back of the legs. Inhale, lift on up. We're going to pivot our feet again so that our left leg is forwards. Pyramid stance, adjust those feet. Just make sure your left leg's forwards. Use an inhale to lengthen. Exhale to tip. Nice, you guys. Inhale to bring you up. Move with your breath. Maybe lift the toes off the mat just to help keep those legs strong and active. <sighs> Exhale brings you down. Inhale brings you up. Last one here. Exhale. Fold forwards. And inhale to come back up. Beautiful. <sighs> awesome, you guys. Let's pivot. Let's pivot all the way back so that we're facing the front, whatever the top of your mat was at the beginning of the class. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take an inhale and reach up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale for your half lift. Lengthen that spine. Maybe lift the toes. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Kind of round the back a little bit. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale, folding forwards. One more. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen. And exhale as you fold. Inhale. We're going to come all the way up to standing this time. Reach up. Look up. And exhale your hands through heart center and down to your sides. Nice, you guys. Roll those shoulders back and down. We're going to come into Utkatasana chair pose. 
You can have your feet together and squeeze your knees together, or you can have your feet hip width apart and keep your knees hip width apart as well. But either way, just start to send the hips back, bend those knees, kind of like you're trying to sit in a chair. I want your arms to be by your side, so ah, find your balance, draw your tummy in, breathe, spread your fingers wide, bring your hands beside your hips, use an inhale, keep spreading the fingers wide as you lift your arms forwards and up, exhale, push that air down, keep the fingers spreading out nice and wide, inhale, reach up, exhale, push that air down, one more, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, push that air down. Awesome, you guys. Use the inhale to stand tall and exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This time we're gonna plant our hands and go all the way back into our downward dog. Breathe. Push into your palms. Maybe let the hips rock a little side to side. Or maybe be still. Just breathe. Awesome job, you guys. One more inhale. And use the exhale to come all the way down to your knees. So you can either sit on your heels. You can even stand on your knees. Or you can come into a toe squat. But I want your arms to be free. I want your arms to be to be available. Uh, uh, so once you've decided how you want to sit or stand on your knees, bring your hands by your hips again, spread the fingers wide, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, push the air down, keep spreading the fingers out wide, inhale, reach up, maybe look up and exhale. One more breath. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale. We'll bring those arms down. Bring your hands all the way to the floor. Come off of the heels, off of the toes. Give those toes a little love tap if you were in a toe squat and you're feeling the love through the feet. You can cross your ankles and send your legs out when you're ready. And actually, we're going to keep our right leg out and bring the left foot to the inner thigh. <clears throat> awesome, you guys, all right. So bring that right leg straight out in front. Take an inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold forwards. Uh, you could stay down or you could use the inhale to lift the chest back up, point your toes up to the ceiling. Exhale as you fold. Inhale to lift right back up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, brings you down. And then let's all inhale and lift back up. Nice and short and sweet holds there. <laughs> so keep your legs as they are. Bring your left hand behind your hips. So we're gonna lift our hips up and just gonna roll onto this left shin and see if you can push into the right foot and just lift the hips. Push into that left hand as well. You can add your right arm, reach, stretch. Spread those fingers wide. Nice, you guys, stay for an inhale. And use the exhale to lower your hips gracefully back down. You can send your left leg out. Your right foot can come in. So either just take your forward fold and stay down or join me for those three deep breath, lifting the chest and lowering the chest. But either way, take an inhale to find some length through the spine and exhale, tipping forward. Inhale and exhale. Nice, you guys. Inhale, maybe to lift back up. Lengthen and exhale, folding forwards. Awesome, you guys. Use the inhale to bring yourself back up. Right hand to the mat behind you. Use an inhale, lift the hips. Roll onto the shin, push into the left foot, and then just reach that left arm in some direction where you start to feel the length through those obliques. 
Spread the fingers wide. Stay for an inhale. And use the exhale to bring you right back down. Awesome. Bringing your right leg out. Bend your knees. <clears throat> Plant your feet next to each other. Give yourself a little hug or a little rock side to side. Ah, nice job, you guys. You're just a little more fun to be had today. <laughs> so you can hang on to your knees. Just try to find some balance on your sit bones. Bring the toes. Get them to be a little bit lighter on the floor. Leaning back a little bit. Boat pose. You might... Hang on to the legs and lift the feet a little higher. You might try to reach for the feet, a little floating butterfly. Try to lengthen your spine, find that balance. You might rock forwards, you might rock all the way back. That's completely fine. Just try to use some control so you don't go too fast if you do roll backwards. <laughs> Nice job, you guys, and maybe maybe you've got your feet or your knees. You can bring your knees out wide, a little floating, floating bear, floating happy baby. <laughs> nice job, you guys. We are going to be coming all the way onto our backs. You might continue to hang onto your feet as you roll all the way down. Woohoo! <laughs> maybe you end up in happy baby. Maybe you're in a little uh, reclined butterfly. If your feet are together, maybe you're not hanging on to anything right now. You can join us. <sighs> nice work, you guys. And if you've got your feet or your knees, just start to let them go. <sighs> Bring your feet all the way back to the floor. And bring your feet about hip width apart. Walk the heels a little closer towards the hips. Oh, just be gentle and encourage your low back in towards the mat. Take a breath. Nice job, you guys. So sticking with the theme of doing things in threes today. We're going to lift up into bridge pose. You could hold it. You could stay lifted or you can lift up and down with the breath with me. Up to you though. Rest your arms by your sides. Push into those feet. Take an inhale. Lift your hips. Lift your chest. Either stay lifted or exhale to bring the hips back down slowly. Inhale is going to bring you back up. Maybe a little higher. And exhale brings you down. One more. Inhale, lift. And use the exhale to bring the hips back down to the mat. Nice, you guys. Maybe a little rock side to side with the knees. Give that low back a massage. We're going to be pulling our right knee in towards our chest. And you can send your left leg out long if you'd like, but give your right knee a nice big hug. Relax that ankle. Maybe take a couple ankle circles. We're going to stay here hugging our right knee in for three full deep breaths. So take a big inhale. As you exhale, hug your knee closer to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, hug that knee. Nice and tight. One more breath in. Exhale, squeeze your knee. Use the inhale to let it go. Send your right leg out. Bring your left knee in. Nice big hug. Maybe straighten the right leg. Maybe take a couple ankle circles before we start to do those nice deep breath. We want to hug the knee really tight in towards the chest. If you feel your hip flexor, you're doing it right. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's do it. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. Hug the knee. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. 
and exhale. Squeeze that knee nice and tight. Inhale to let go. Bring your foot to the floor. Bring the right leg in as well. Maybe a little rock side to side. Massage your low back. Nice, you guys. You can start to bring your arms out wide. We're going to take a twist. We're going to take a twist and you can bring your knees to the left side. Maybe stack your knees or cross your knees. But just shimmy those shoulders. Keep that right side down. Spending a little longer than three breath here. So relax. Slow down. But still breathe a little bit deeper. Putting some effort into some nice deep breath. Awesome, you guys, with an inhale, we're going to lift our legs all the way back up. <sighs> Find your center. Maybe a little rock side to side. And then our knees are going to come over to the right. Maybe cross the legs the other way. Maybe not. Just find a twist that works for you today. Feels good. And there you're able to breathe a little bit deeper. Get that tummy moving up and down. Awesome, you guys, with an inhale, when you are ready, let's start to bring our knees back up out of the twist, hmm, low back to the mat, maybe even pulling the knees in towards the chest, we can do a little rock side to side, massaging the low back. Nice job, you guys. When you are feeling good, just let your legs go out long. Spread your feet out wide. <sighs> Resting your arms at your sides with your palms facing up. <sighs> Taking one last deep breath in. Note. Letting go of any effort that you're putting into the breath. Let your body take over. And stay here for as long as you have time for today. Enjoy your Shavasana. Until next time, Namaste.